Hi everyone. So today I'm gonna go and do a whip parade. So I'm gonna show you all my whips. Um, and Pixie, uh, one of the co-owners. So we'll do one too in English. So you will have dog a lot. So it's gonna be fun for you to meet her. Uh, so my first whip. I'm not sure if I can tell it it, it as a whip or as a semi whip because I'm not the one that made the tube for the fox. It's my friend Catherine. She made it and it was too small for her. So she gave it to me uh, one of three years ago. So it's been a while. And I decided to um, do toes and heel on them. But even for me, it was too short. So I'm um, making something up as I go. Uh, so that's another yarn I choose to put there. I did 15 rows and then two rows of the self starting price up. One of the Jameson and of Shetland lavender color. One of uh, the self starting one of Jameson, another one self starting And then I'm doing 15 rows of the Jameson. I don't know how it's going to look, but I'll try. It's not bad. It only sucks if it's not that good. And then I will do the, the heel. Um, what did I want to say? So, yeah, because uh, right, right now I was mostly knitting the Professor Meow uh, for my roommate, Sandy. And uh, because of the weight of the yarn, the it's a big yarn and it's big needle. I was getting um, some pain in my arm, my wrist, and my hand. So uh, I was thinking of doing maybe something lighter in the morning for the that because when you you have the habit of knitting small yarn, you form certain muscles. It's different than when you knit bigger yarn. So I was trying to help with that. And since I was doing the Professor Meow for so long, I'm not in the habit anymore to use small yarn. So it was difficult for that too. So it's, you have to get, to, how do we say that? In the move for both of them. So I decided to do at least 30 minutes in the morning of a small yarn and then complete the Professor Meow. Because I'm so done tired of that black yarn. I cannot spin it anymore. Uh, I'm almost up for the um, armpits and the separation for the uh, collar and the, the uh, arms. So I cannot wait to go there. I'm going to show it, show it to you. So if I'm speaking of it. So right now, I did all of that. So it's not bad. It's, it's long, but it's like it's longer, so it doesn't move when she puts her arm up. And since it's all black, I put some crazy color marker on it to help me, because I like colors, and black is so long to me. Uh, the yarn for that is the one the fluff knit pick. The black is Willie's Eater. And the designer for the Professor Meow is Claire Slade. She's with Knitpick for that power. So I put it in my shape bag. I love her bag. Seriously, I love it. I would buy a thousand of them. After that is my Mahiba with Pau, so uh, low tide. Oh, that my friend Pixie uh, is uh, making the pattern. I'm doing it in bigger yarn that she does in the case for the pattern. We just wanted to see how it would show up. So that's mine for now. I'm up at the third section of it. So the big yarn here is um, 
Ursul uh, Yarn Co. Uh, and the base is Fat Blue, so it's a BFL. And the color is Fancy. And then you have the yarn uh, from La Maison Tricotier, which is, which is a shop uh, here in Quebec uh, at Montreal. They have their own brand. So this one is the yarn Jackie, and the color is Gwendoline. So yeah, see what she, she wants to make is like a, you have the, the sea and the land and it all mixed up together. So I think she's really, she's doing a great job for that right now. What I'm sure of is that I'm only at uh, the third chart and I'm already on my second crystal fast blue yarn. So I'm sure I won't have enough. And unfortunately, since so the year that we've been doing this show, she doesn't buy that base anymore. And everyone I saw on the residency that has that yarn doesn't have any more uh, over with me. So I'm really sure of it. So I hope that I have enough. So I have another um, the same base. It's yellower, it's just pink. Yeah. Maybe you could try to put more pink on that. I don't know. And I don't know if you saw, there's some beads in the, in the shawl too, in the lace section. Uh, the beads are, I think maybe you see beads. Then I have the famous center that I still haven't finished. I didn't even get one stitch in it. I'm there right now. So the uh, the yarn is the gloss, gloss, sorry, from Liptix. I have the robot, robot. Color me is the pale, and the art is the uh, darker green. I think it's those, it might be switched up. And I have the Mazala color too. And right now I'm doing a bend on the side of it. I'm doing that part of it. And I will remove it. So after I finish the, those stuff, it might be one of the easy projects I do in the morning, easy project, smaller yarn project I do in the morning. So yeah, it might be that. I'm gonna have to try and see. Because I really wish to finish it. It's picking up needles, it's picking up cables, and I want it done. I'm so sick and tired of it. It's not the one I preferred from Stephen Whip. Just because of the final shape it is, I'm going to do something different on the bottom of the first chart and the first two, like a Nikki Naki from uh, Natalie from Nikki Naki did. So you can go check her out, see what she did. I really prefer her way. There's a top song on it and it's pretty future like that. Next is my Sora from Adrian Piru. It's someone from Quebec. And I really love the piece for now. Uh, I really have to finish it because I'm doing a test for the bigger size. But she has not yet released. So it's really cute, the pattern, and it's easy to make. It's, it's so much, it's little details that make it incredible. So there we go. So the yarn, the first one, the the darker is the Julia Saint. Easy fingering. 
the color the color is extra which is I don't know in English it's like a, some place you have low ties and high ties. I really don't know in English what it is. And then I have the uh, Colossus Star Yarn in Easter Bunny. Then I have the Calzos from Cafe DM. I'm going to just pick up the tie. Where is it? So Cafe DM Fiber, Calzos. And the color is New Emo. So those four, maybe. I'm trying to transfer some stuff that doesn't really transfer. Next one is uh, the Mayamba in our essential, essential base. The name is Pole now, so it's North Pole. This color. After that, I'm gonna have the Desa Sexist in Soka, in its quite a textile art in her the base that she unfortunately she doesn't buy anymore, but it was that base. And the color is one of ten. And that's it. So that's the five colors uh, for that uh, piece. And I cannot continue on it because my needles are on the twist and turn. So, unless I buy other needles, I could do that. But maybe I should keep the needle on the on the twist and turn and make it so I can do the foreign knife. Is this twist and turn? Oh, yes, yeah, okay. okay. Pretty bad because there was so much snow outside that I'm blown out. And after that, I have a friend who had problem making a shawl. Uh, the way she did it, it, there was an error, and she wanted to make sure it wasn't the pattern uh, that had error. And so I um, started the same shawl. Uh, it's a shawl I wanted to make, the easy one. It's called the after thing shawl with, uh, from Peggy Maxine. So I only did that. The yarn is Lang Mill Coloring. So it's going to make that. And the colors are that. So numbers. So 859.0050. Uh, never know which one is which. Is it the lot or the number of colors? No idea. So yeah, I only started that. Just to, to know if the pattern was right, and it is. So she was, I think it's because our needle was were, were so much smaller than what she had to do that the shape of the charm, charm showed, showed up different. Of that. So right now she is going to make it with the right needle. I'm going to have to ask her if she, it was better. After that, I have my cozy blanket. The pattern is the, is the coziest memory from Temper Rape. I've made a little bit on it. Uh, I told myself, Sunny, you really have to make at least one square per week or else you won't ever get uh, finished and just to have me more i told myself i'm gonna make a, a cardigan with it not a, a blanket because it's gonna be quicker like that i'm gonna finish it quicker and it's gonna be a really funky colorful uh, cards again. So this one is from my Ghostbuster uh, Peppermint Crush sock. So the color is called Ectoplasm, not 
Ghostbusters. Because I was always seeing uh, it in French as uh, Ghostbuster, but it's ectoplasm. And this one is from Aria 51. It's the uh, Peppermint Crush. The first one is from Bitten Mitten. The next one I did is uh, yarn from Manos del Uruguay. The color is uh, peach and cream, and it's one of my favorite colors. Uh, I really like it. I don't know how to describe it. I made socks for my sister with them, and I'm going to buy another skein of that yarn because I love it so much. Next one is I cannot remember if it's dessert with how that work or Mendy's making uh, for uh, two years ago for the Crazy Stuff Lady uh, Summer Sack Camp. I'm going to go see in my travesty. So I made a square of that. Dessert with how that work. And 2021 Summer Sack Camp. So I made that. And this one is whistling. You might not see it. There's still not in it. Because if I can add bling, I'm going to put bling on it. And the next one, the next color I already cast it on is the color Emily uh, from Nikon Saki. It's a Nikon. It's with Selena too. So when we started our yarn dyeing business, we um, Propose that in exchange for for cash to start up, that we will make uh, a color based on what they wanted, a custom color. And my sister told me the color she liked. And since it doesn't need, I made her stuff with those in that color. And it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And exactly earth. That's the very earth color. And I only have another one, just to note. It's a, I call them Case Crazy Connection. So the pattern is Rainbow Connection from the Case Crazy Stuffy. And the yarn is Munglo Yarn Co., the Crazy Cauldron Stock Set. So that's the base. The color is Cauldron Black. And you have a couple of colors with those. This one is a uh, ghost blue. And that, that's swampy water. It's more, it's more blue than purple as you see it. This one is slime of snail. Crazy suck lady lime. Something paste. Pink Abu, I love that name. And this one is Okay Pocket. So I'm not far on it. I'm, I only started the, the reading. So I'll still work on it too. So many stuff to make, so little time. And that cute little Marker is from Orange Fabi Craft on Etsy, and she makes amazing work. I really love her master. She was the first one I got with the beaded marker, and I think I'm going to buy more of her. So yeah, that's it for my uh, whip. That's enough. And uh, next, I'm going to make you a video of um, my mate line. Uh, I will make one of that later. Uh, so you will see what I have on my mate line, what yarn I have for those, because I have a lot of yarn for those mate lines. And uh, yeah, my plan to make them, if I started one or not. So I'm going to wish you a good day and see you next time.